Tonight, grieving friends are remembering an elderly homicide victim. The 88 year old man was found dead this afternoon on the city's near south side, and News 8's Julia Dang was at the scene. And what have you learned, Julia? Well, Mike, detectives have been tight lipped about who found the victim and how he died, but we've learned the case changed from a death investigation to a homicide after they noted unnatural trauma. It happened today near Garfield Park. It's quiet, it's peaceful. You don't see no, no crime. Until today, when two mobile crime labs and nearly a dozen detectives rushed to Union Street near Pleasant Run and taped off the 2500 block. Unusual to see the yellow tape in our neighborhood. Detectives confirmed the victim, an 88 year old man, is Indy's oldest homicide victim in at least the past three years. Very tragic. Makes me very mad. Amy Kovron says she's known the man for decades. Since the early 80s. And loved to play pool with him at his bar. Everybody loved him. Lots of people knew him. He used to own the Charmar Social Tavern at the corner of uh, Arizona Meridian Street. Amid heartbreak on Union Street, Amy recalled how he used to make her laugh. Very jovial, funny, a prankster, a, a very big prankster. Even the warnings in his window had a hint of humor. It's unclear tonight if anyone broke in. The bigger question for Amy is why anyone would hurt her friend. I thought, well, maybe he had a heart attack until I seen the forensics and all that. I'm like, no, it had to be something worse. And police have not confirmed the man's name. Detectives could not provide a motive or any suspect information. The victim's friends told me he lived alone and didn't venture out very often. He had a caretaker who went by to check on him. Live in the studio, Julia Dang, Wish TV News.